Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me currently cowering underneath the trees because the weather today is atrocious. But that's not going to stop the fun. We're going to be catching up with Rana65556 with his Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. Now today I want to talk about Lambos. In the last two months I've been lucky enough to drive all three of their few off road-going hypercars. We are talking the Reventon, the Centenario and the Veneno. I feel incredibly lucky and privileged that I can actually say that because I doubt many people outside of Lamborghini have driven all three of those. But today I want to address a question I see from you all of the time. An obvious omission from my garage. Why don't I own a Lamborghini? Will I ever buy a Lamborghini? The SVJ is an absolutely mad, wild, raging bull. Rana should be here any moment. We will check out the car go out for a little drive and talk a bit more about it. I've just heard him coming and now I can see it, the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, one of 900 SVJ coupes, the maddest of the Aventadors. This is absolutely crazy and in fact I saw and Rana let me drive this very car earlier in the year in Geneva. He took it down despite the weather there to the Geneva Motor Show and how insane is it to see a hardcore event at all like this in today's weather. Now Rana's thing is always to hide a little bit secretively. How are you doing? Hi Tim, how are you? I'm very good, I'm very good. This looks insane. There's something about a car like this being driven on a day like today. This is one of Rana's jets. All of his cars are his jets. He's just taken delivery also of an AMG GTR Pro. I will be getting mine very soon. But this thing, is this the Lambo that I should be considering? One of these. They also make the 900 Roadsters. There are the 63 editions, the really special ones for Lamborghini's most VIP customers. This is, I mean, this is, I think, a car from an era. The next era of Lambo will be quite different, but this, this is mega. I love the SVJ. When I drove it the first time, I could not have had a better time. You've got this uh, lightweight rear roof which has the latches to be taken off. You've got all the aerodynamics, ALA, Aerodynamica, Lamborghini, Attiva. But this, yeah, it's everything that an Aventador SVJ should be, the Super Veloce Yota. Anyway, let's see what we're going to do right now. The plan of action then, I'm going to hop in for a ride, then I'm going to take the wheel of the SVJ again later and I can't wait to experience it, although it might be a little bit cautious with today's weather. But let's jump on board then this fantastic machine to get a little experience today of the Aventador SVJ completely stripped out, no carpets or anything like that. All these seats are firm. <laughs> That's the thing I notice every time I get into one of these full carbon door cards. We have the seat belt from back here, but these seats are rigid. Really, really solid. All right, so we're going to head out, go for a little bit of a round in the car to see what it's all about in Corsa mode in today's weather. <laughs> Definitely get the sound that way. <laughs> wow, all right. Feel it immediately, this car. Look at that view. The sound of it too, this thing is insane. We are headed this way because it looks like the skies are a little bit clearer, but the sound of this thing, all oh, the downshifts, that naturally aspirated V12, the next generation, the replacement to the event door, and this will lead me on to what I want to talk about later on. It's such a cool noise. The replacement to this car is likely going to inherit the hybrid system, like in the new Lamborghini CR, this kind of mating of the naturally aspirated V12 with some additional electrical support. But it won't be that traditional sense of naturally aspirated engine, which is what I think so many of us love so much. It will hopefully still sound this good, unless WLTP and emissions rules and regulations mean that they have to install lots of filters and it all gets much, much quieter. In the meantime, though, just look at that view. Look at the wing back there, the way it hangs out to the sides. Even just cruising along, you feel it's firm, you feel it's really firm, especially, especially with these seats. I can't say it enough, these seats are so savage and firm and solid. But hey, here we are, inside the SVJ, one of the coolest things ever. This car, how many miles has this car done now? Oh yeah, four and a bit thousand, four thousand two hundred. Four thousand two hundred. That's pretty good going for for a rare limited edition car like this. Not bad going at all. It's been all over Europe, literally. This is more like it. A bit of countryside. The sun just. 
just poking through and <laughs> plenty of V12 to enjoy through the countryside here. This is, it's an era, it's something that we're going to miss. We've managed to find some miserable weather, so uh, we're going to turn around and go back the other way. But um, this is not normal weather condition for an SVJ. And that's actually in Strada, by the way. It's still pretty aggressive, even in Strada. And then, uh, obviously, you can dial it up, but Strada gives a softer suspension, which you kind of need on the roads that we have here. But yeah, this is quite unusual. The Ventador SVJ driving in this kind of grim weather. Mad respect to uh, Rana right now for um, bringing this out and piloting it. Quick pull over to swap seats. You sure about this? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. All right, Lambo doors. Lambo doors, guys. That is the thing. They do so well. They always have done. Let's catch I'll leave that open just for a second as we come round towards the other side. Oh, this weather is so unpleasant. But take a seat. And I want to say, just by the way, that these seats, I do not like them. They are way too solid for me. I would need to be the guy with an SVJ who has soft seats in it. All right, door down. <laughs> okay, we're in sport now. Um, let me put my belt on, get comfortable. Oh, you get a compass direction up on the uh, rear view mirror. All right, let me pass the camera to you, Rana. Thank you. Cameraman for the day. <laughs> Change roles. <laughs> All right, cameraman and Lambo driver have swapped around. So let's um, work out how we do this. Reverse is here. This is going to be very difficult. Prime example of why this is a problem. Okay then, first mission success. Being able to reverse while not really being able to see anything backwards. Oh, this just sounds so crazy. It's raw, it's savage, it's ferocious, and this is something that only a Lambo can really do. I'm gonna take a left turn here. Go find some of those twists. Oh, the downshifts, the downshifts, and then to head out this way. And this particular car is nicely run in, having done quite so many miles. Actually insane. If we go into course mode, one press of the button in the centre, it all gets even more ferocious. Sport tends to make more noise. But this is, I mean, it's a huge, huge car. On our small countryside roads like this, this thing is absolutely massive. And you're very, very, very aware of that. But then it has all of this presence that nothing else even begins to kind of touch on. <laughs> even just taking it easy, you feel like you're driving a million miles an hour faster than you actually are. That's the crazy, crazy thing. And that's, I guess, massively what you get from a car like this. It feels big. It feels like a dramatic experience. It feels like something, I don't know, like a proper event when you take it out and when you drive it. SVJ that we're back into the sunshine actually that one day 
that is an itch that is going to have to be scratched. Maybe not on a hypercar level, but one day for sure. <laughs> Got waved out there. I think that probably happens often if you're driving a bright yellow Aventador. One day it will happen. It just needs the right car, and maybe, maybe the hybrid is the one that gets me. Maybe when driving the replacement to this, that will be a hybridized V12, maybe that will be the one. I have never been particularly drawn to the Hurricanes and the Performantes, but this, this is something. Back into the open roads. <laughs> oh, those sounds. The downshift though, really and truly. Wow. Then when you put your foot back on the throttle, It just puts a massive smile on your face. That's the thing with this car. You have a road like this, a car like this, and you're beaming from ear to ear every time. And I think in many ways, that's what a supercar should be. That's what it's about. And I've completely woken up to this now. I'm having an incredible time. Thank you, Rana. <laughs> it's all right. Then what you can do is put it into Corsa mode, where it all gets even more aggressive. The shifts are even more ferocious. <laughs> but so is the ride. The car is so, so rough. Wow. should be. I tell you what though, with the driving modes, I think I need to put it back into Strada because I am starting to feel it over some of these bumps. <laughs> now this is where if I did put it, oh yeah it's a bit low, if I did put it back into automatic, this is where the gearbox is not the strongest. They didn't go for a double clutch, they kept it with the seven speed automated manual. It's not the best. It makes you have to fluctuate the throttle to shift cleanly. noises. Bangs going off behind. One problem though, visibility is atrocious. You can see so little backwards. I'll show you when we hop out, but with the central spine and with the ala system in the wing, you've got no view behind. Um, the mirrors, I guess they work. And at the front, you've got this narrow letterbox style window down towards the nose, which you can't really see. It's extended for the SVJ, but you don't really know where it is down there. Does it matter though? Not really. That's not what this car is about. This car is about putting a smile on your face. I think that, to me, if I go for a Lambo, it needs to be something that's a proper experience. You know, for the more sporty, normal driving supercar, if I can say that, that's where I'm very firmly in the McLaren camp and the Ford GT camp. For this, I'm going back into the countryside, back into sport once more. For this, it's about... feeling it. These seats are savage. From a driving side, this is, I think, the best Lambo yet. The SVJ is a really incredible car. But the seats, oof, they just hurt. Let me see if I can climb out of here, over the uh, sills. 
oi oi oi, picking up a lot of dirt and things as you can see, the price of aero, a big thanks to Rana for the opportunity to drive this. I just, uh, yeah, need to take it easy for a minute, stretch my back, because that is that's pretty solid. Rana is filling it up, he is a man of mystery, always hiding away, but what? What a drive. Yeah, just really, really actually, just to show you a little bit, ALA, these are some of the active flaps you have at the front. And then I wanted to talk as well about the rear, back here, and what I meant when you can't really see anything. You've got this tiny window in the middle, but behind it is this. So all you see looking backwards is, well, these uh, stepping uh, tiered aero openings, which you can't really see through, and then this in the middle, which you also can't see through. But this is about airflow coming through here, over the top, clean air over the top of the car, coming through here, coming up through the ALA system, and then coming out through these openings under the sides and being directed from one side to the other, depending on your steering inputs, to obviously help give it more downforce on cornering. Those, though, are the exhaust pipes of fun, we could say, making the most incredible sound. And then back here, it's a savage, aggressive looking diffuser, uh, as you'd expect. And it's actually really interesting how open this is. It's completely open, there's no mesh or anything um, between the uh, radiators or whatever exactly cooling parts you have at the very back there. Yeah, very interesting, very interesting. It's such a different sound from other Aventadors. Anyway, let us take a step in here, jumping in the passenger side now. The run back, pull that door down. It's just such a, an event, you know, even pulling the grab handles. Go straight back into Corsa mode, hey? <laughs> Lift system up. And uh, yeah, my word, my word. There's just nothing else really like it. This thing is just an absolute brute. Oh, the sights and sounds, what an experience of this thing. What an experience, it's been absolutely insane. Understatement probably of the year. This system, just a button there, nice and easy. And, uh, yeah. Well, thank you very much for this, Rana. One we epic, a, epic journey. Appreciate it a lot. We had good driving. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. This has been mega. The good news is that you can spec an SBJ with comfort seats. You don't have to have the incredibly firm, very uncomfortable ones, but this car just looks like the most insane thing. Rana has been driving it four and a bit thousand miles now on the clock in total, but today's outing, a huge thanks for the opportunity as well to be able to drive the car, to have an opportunity behind the wheel of it. I think the time is going to come. The time will arrive to one day add a Lamborghini to the garage. It's not here yet, I need the right car, I need the right model, but one day, and I can't wait for that day to come, there will be a Lamborghini Schmimobile. For the time being though, the SVJ has topped off an incredible two months. The Reventon, Centenario, Veneno, and the SVJ. Wow, mind completely blown. Some of the best products ever from Santa Gata Bolognese in Italy. Crazy. Anyway, I'm going to pop Rana's link down below. Do go and follow if you don't already. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.